Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Cincinnati Bearcats. Number 52 is going to have to play a major role if they want to be victorious tonight. He can use his quickness to beat you in a lot of ways. With the ball, he can beat you with the first step. Without it, he can beat you by getting to the board. That's why he's so good. The Bearcats will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Bearcats might be in over their heads in this one, Dick. Absolutely. Here's some things that they have to do if they're going to have a chance to win. First of all, don't give any open looks at the arc. Find the three-point shooters, baby. Next, be strong with the ball. Turnovers could be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Third, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams looking to get and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The point guard takes the feed. Moving it around the perimeter. Friedman fakes the shot. And up and drains the shot. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. There's the pick. There's the roll. Ball moved back outside from down low. Gets it to go. Dumps it in. The center takes the pass. Kicks it out. Got the shot if he wants it. That's good. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. From three-point range. The Mountaineers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. On the outside. He takes the three. Hmm, that's not a good shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The ball goes out of play. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. And the fans are going wild. The man is off the charts, Brad. He fires it up. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. He rejects it, and the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. High post flasher is open. Look to get it to the inside. He fakes the shot. Ten on the shot clock. The center with the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great play to take that to the basket. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. He may be in trouble here, Brad. Trying to go inside. He looks at the hoop. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The point guard gets the ball. He wants a three. He shows the sweet touch. That 
was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gets a hand in the way. Chivers is down emotionally right now, dude. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. And a momentary look from three-point land with the fake. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They move it into the front court. With anticipation defensively, the point guard gets the pass. Working around the perimeter. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Nice fake. Ten seconds. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work it around the arc. Double team now, Van Angle. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He shoots from the angle. He nails the bucket. Hatcher is emotionally pumped up. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries a three ball. Tickles a twine. On the dribble, gives it up. The frustration right there. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. They work it around the perimeter. Turns it over with a quarterback pass. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He's got a high post flasher. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Strips the ball loose. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And timeout. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Intercepted. 
Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Trying to feed inside. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He fouled him. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten through about a second earlier. Working it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up for two. Tries for two. Up and in. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Get that sucker out of the game, man. And now he finds right away, head up, put the head up, find the open guy, give it up, give the rock up. Bucket, perfectly executed. The Bearcats often recruit really athletic players, and they aren't afraid to travel the globe to find them. They like to play a style of basketball that requires some gifted athletes. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Here's a flash from the post up high. The kick out goes for the deep one. Ten on the shot clock. Shooter spotting up on a three. Jumped in front to take it away. Take some pride on the defensive end. He looks for three. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. He launches a three. Way off target. Comes way out court, and they'll have another chance. Oh, yes. Accepts it. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble. Gives it up. Here's a double team. Cincinnati are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. There's a double team waiting there. Good job defensively. Gave it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Look at that spacing. He gets the rejection. I think they're trying to make a statement. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really did a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. Working it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. There's the trap. And they get the turnover. And again, they look to run. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That was nice. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He got it. Cincinnati are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The ring of red is one of Cincinnati's trademarks. A home crowd comes wearing red in hopes of giving the Bearcats that home court advantage. They don't wear red for every home game. But when it's an important game, it's like a sea of red in here. On the dribble, gives it up. to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. The Bearcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Now he's on fire. Oh, what a strip, Brad. Look at that spacing. They're working around the perimeter. The fake. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. And a momentary look from three-point land. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Takes away the pass. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. For the bucket, he puts it in with contact and all. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Step out on that screener. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again.
For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Goes up for two. They still don't score. High post screen. So effective that screen. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Double team now. Bad angle. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Launches the three. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Defensively down a low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Two, Cincinnati have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. on the guy in the post to go the other way. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player to attack the basket. On the outside, tries for two. Perfectly executed. Now the high screen. And he scores despite the hack. The ball goes out of bounds. From the baseline. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. At the half, the Bearcats trail by one. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight in the first half? I picked the kind of highlight that only a coach can look, Brad. His team working the ball down low to their big man for the inside basket. All right, Dick, let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. Cincinnati is losing in the battle on the boards in the first half, Dick. Yeah, the opposing team was clearly more committed to rebounding the rock. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do? You think? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, 
Good fake. That spin move's not going to work. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Fake. Fakes it. For the bucket. I love the sky hook. You can't outblock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'll kick it back out. Let's it fly. He gets it to go. Sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gave it up. He bombs from outside. Way off target. Drops the bucket despite the harm. For two, basket falls despite the contact. off didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle looking for a good shot He shoots from the top of the circle. Cincinnati have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Dribble gives it up. He launches the bomb. Scorches the net. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me. Side. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He puts up the tray. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Gave it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. Steals the ball. He draws a foul. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Blocks the shot. Hatcher's modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Brad, he's in what many people call a funk. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. With the jump hook, and in and out. On the outside, top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. Right in the circle, off the rim, and no good.
Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Cincinnati are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. Dick. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play. You got a chance to really to win. the dribble gives it up very soft defensively no pressure on a basketball and with that there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively they work the perimeter they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. He shoots from downtown. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Too physical. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Pick up the defense here now. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Student body, they are going mad. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That's a great shot. And I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. <laughs> Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He puts it in with contact and all. Steals a pass. Violation, three seconds. Can't nap in a lane like that. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Problem with that, when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're front. The high screen for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Steal. Here's a double team and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. 
Singletary looked from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. A whistle and a foul. And coach now has been silent. Look at this, Mr. Nestle. Here's a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no-no. Harris steps to the line for the first time. Gets the first shot. West Virginia they have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there. Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. There's a high screen. Perfectly executed. I tell you, the Big East is really something. Any conference that can put up to eight teams into the NCAA tournament is legit. It's a power conference, Brad. It has been in the past, and it will continue to be. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires from long range. Way off target. Easy one. Jumped in front to take it away. For two, the lane. On the outside, gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looks at the three. They let him get into a rhythm. On the dribble, gives it up. That's a foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, both the players and coaches seem really confused right now around the benches. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. All right, thanks, Aaron. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. On the outside, got a wide open look. He shoots from the top of the circle, makes it. Look at the student section did, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential when entering the ball to the post. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. It's a special art, feeding the post. He attempts the three, drains it. 
The Mountaineers are up by 12. They work the perimeter. He unloads a three. Great shot. Working around the perimeter for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Ball down low, but it's kicked out. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Steals the ball. West Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. They strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. in front to take it away. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that 20, though. Here's a flash from the high post. In the paint. He goes with a jump hook. And in and out. And the ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad. Guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Kicks it out. He throws it up from downtown. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. For two. Nice shot. This is simply a great play, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the inside, the big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. it up and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot Here's a spin down and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Way off target. They get the ball down low and he hips up with his man and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't pull up, baby. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. And he scores despite the hack. on that perimeter line. Looking for a good shot. Almost lost the basketball. Defense forces a five-second call. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Ball coming in from the sideline. Unloads. Rims out. No, you gotta score that. You gotta count it. You gotta count it. He says no, but you count that. is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Yes! Screener gets the worst of that screen with the elbow. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Cincinnati is simply blown right out of this one. They weren't expected to win one, but it looks like they gave up before the game even started. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.